Hi boys and girls. So earlier I showed you the graphic organizer I made for chapter 7 and analyzing um, McNabb and what happens in the story the beginning, middle, and end. So in front of you, you should have you should be looking at the graphic organizer and the character traits of him being overconfident and loud and a bully and getting mad and confused, things like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to write a narrative and you're going to watch me come up with a narrative of chapter 7 but in the point of view of McNabb. So it's no longer in the point of view of the narrator but it's now in the point of view of McNabb. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I have my book and my alien notebook in front of me so I can make sure I'm looking about what happened. So at the beginning of the story, it talks about how McNabb strikes out 16 batters for the Two Mills Little League record. So I'm going to set, start off with, um, let's see. Hmm. It was just about sundown. And... I had already struck out 16 batters for a new two mills little league record. Now remember, you want to make sure that let's indent that. We want to make sure that we're using first person because we're talking in the voice of McNabb. So he's going to use the word I and my and things like that. So it was about sundown and I had already struck out 16 batters for a new two mills Little League record. Um, let's see. Hmm. It then says in the chapter that I was much bigger. He was much bigger than everybody else. And he was striking out all these different kids. So, let's see. I'm going to start with saying, Man. Man. I am the best. I'm going to do an exclamation point there because it's exciting. So, man, I'm the best. I thought to myself as... These runty children came up to bat. Okay, so man, I'm the best. I thought to myself as these runty children came up to bat. Hmm, let's see. Then let's put, um, I shouted at the batters one right after another um, strike 20 let's go back into our book okay strikeout total so it says that he bellowed out his strikeout total so I shouted at the batters one right after another my unbelievable strike out total. No one can beat me. Okay. So let's reread this. It was just about sundown and I had already struck out 16 batters for a new two mills little league record. That's actually should be lowercase. Man, I'm the best, I thought to myself as these runty children came up to bat. I shouted at the batters, one right after another, my unbelievable strike out total. Now that seems doesn't seem to make sense to me, so I need to fix that. I shouted at the batters, one right after another, my unbelievable strike out total. Hmm. One right after another, my unbelievable strikeout total. I'm going to leave it for right now and then see if I should change it after when I go back to edit and revise. No one can beat me. I thought I, let's say I said out loud, said to the players. Hmm. Now we need to go to the middle. And in the middle, that's when Maniac comes up. So let's see. Um, 
I also think I want to add in some parts about the batters shaking and things like that. So I shouted at the batters one after the unbelievable strikeout total. I watched as the batters' knees shaked like, let's see, watch the knees shake, not shake, shake doesn't work, shake like maracas. I watched as the batter's knees shake like sure maracas while the ball zoomed past their noses. Now, if you notice, I'm using some details right from the text because remember to watch our spelling. I misspelled the there, so make sure we're using the correct there. Um, we've been learning that with homophones and misspelled words this week. So, the I watched as the batters need shake, sh we should say shook, shook, like maracas while the ball zoomed past their noses. And we need to put a comma there because that is a complex sentence. And we had the word zoomed, just like in the paragraph. No one can beat me, I said out loud to the players. Excellent. So my first paragraph is done. This is the beginning of the story. So it was just about sundown and I had already struck out 16 batters for a new two mils little league record. Man, I'm the best, I thought to myself as these runty children came up to bat. I shouted at the batters, one right after another, my unbelievable strikeout total. I watched as the batter's knees shook like maracas while the ball zoomed past their noses. No one can beat me, I said out loud to the players. Let's put that in quotes too because he's saying that. Excellent. Okay, then I'm going to say part two. So I'm looking at my graphic organizer right now. I know you can't see that, but it says this is where Maniac comes in and takes the cap from the other one and, and he starts laughing. So he's very confused. So I'm going to start with Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Mrs. Vassar just decided to pop on in. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Vassar. So, hmm, I thought to myself, who the heck is this? And of course I'm talking about maniac. So who the heck is this? Sorry, I'm having a little bit of trouble with my mouse there. So I thought to myself, who the heck is this? Why is he on my Little League field? What makes him think he can beat me at my own game? At bat was a scrawny boy not wearing a red socks cap or a green socks cap so I knew that he did not belong here so let's go back and look hmm I thought to myself who the heck is this why is he on my little league field what makes him think he can beat me at my own game at that was a scrawny boy not wearing a red cap or a green socks cap so, I knew that he did not belong here. Um, I laughed in his face and told him he was not allowed to play because he wasn't a little eager. Then, I couldn't 
believe my eyes. Was I seeing things? Hmm. <laughs> Was I seeing things? That. Hmm. What's a word we can use for small? <laughs> Let's see what the book says. Ooh, scraggly. I like that. So, the scraggly boy with a book in his hand. That scraggly boy with a book in his hand snagged a cap off the head of another player and stepped right back up to bat. Hmm, okay, so I'm going to go back and read. Hmm, I thought to myself, who the heck is this? Why is he on my little league field? What makes him think he can beat me at my own game? At bat was a scrawny boy not wearing a red Sox cap or a green Sox cap, so I knew that he did not belong here. I laughed in his face and told him he was not allowed to play because he was not a little leaguer. Then I, then I couldn't believe my eyes. Was I seeing things? That scraggly boy with a book in his hand snagged a cap off the head of another player and stepped right back up to bat. This must, must be a joke. I said to the kid. I laughed out loud and said, 26, I believe it was. Oh, 36, coming up. I said number 36. And I'm copying this right from the text. Number 36, coming up. Okay, perfect. So this must be a joke, I said to the kid. As, let's say, as I laughed out loud. Laughed out loud. Number 36, coming up. I threw the ball. At, I threw my fastball. As I usually do. And the boy hit it. Not only did he hit the ball, but it came flying at my head like a horse. Hmm, let's see, let's do a simile. A horse. Hmm. Like a horse in a race. So, I threw my fastball as I usually do. Fastball is one word. As I usually do, and the boy hit it. Not only did he hit the ball, but it came flying at me like a horse in a race. And that's a simile. And we need to make sure we have our comma here because that is a compound sentence. Okay. What is going on there? There we go. Okay, so now I have my first part and my middle is how he hit the ball. So now this is when I'm looking at my graphic organizer and it says how he starts to get very angry. So we're going to start with our third paragraph. I'm just going to look over my second paragraph quickly. So let's look at the end of it again. The straggly boy with a book in his hand snagged a cap off the head of another player and stepped right back up to bat. This must be a joke, I said to the kid as I laughed out loud. Number 36, coming up. I threw my fastball as I usually do, and the boy hit it. Not only did he hit the ball, but, he, but it came flying at me like, flying at me like a horse in a race and knocked my cap straight off my head. I was furious. 